Oh boy, that's pretty close. Snapdragon 888 is pretty close to Apple A14 Bionic as the first benchmark of the 888 surfaced online yesterday. I just compared it with the Apple A14 Bionic running on the iPhone 12 Pro and guys, it's pretty close. The battle is gonna be pretty close, the Apple A14 is high on its heels and the 888 is also pretty much trying its best to catch up. So in this video, I'll be just showing you guys the benchmark comparison of Apple A14 Bionic versus the Snapdragon 888's first benchmark leak. Hey guys, all about technology 24 into 7 here. If you like what you're watching, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you receive all the latest updates from my channel. Also like this video if you did. Let's now get started. This video is kind of a discussion video. So the comment section is open for all of you to discuss about your favorite processors. Also discuss anything regarding Apple A14 Bionic and 888. I would love to see your thoughts in the comment section. And yes, in this video, I will not be comparing any technical stuff regarding A14 and 888 because straight away I can say that A14 is still better in terms of performance when we compare it with the Snapdragon 888 processor. Yes, I recently made a video comparing the 5G capabilities, AI capabilities of 888 and A14 where Snapdragon is a little bit better in terms of 5G capabilities and also artificial intelligence. The link of that video is in the description or in the pinned comment. Do check that out. So in this video, I'll just be talking about the benchmark results. So first, let me show you the first ever benchmark of the 888 which was uploaded yesterday and this was running on a Vivo device as you can see on the screen. So the device name here is Vivo V2056A and as you can see the upload date December 2nd 2020 10.57am which was not the Indian standard time and as you can see this is on Android 11 and this is the Snapdragon 888 processor. The scores are pretty amazing I can say single core 1135 and multi core score is 3681. So let me compare this with the Apple A14 Bionic chip. So A14 Bionic as you can see this is the latest benchmark uploaded on the Geekbench 5 and here are the results. It's running on the iPhone 12 Pro and the results are pretty amazing as we would expect 1585-3921 and after seeing this I just thought that it's pretty close, I mean the 888 is pretty close to this one and do bear this in mind guys. So it has been like a trend, whichever benchmark is leaked of the Snapdragon previously like 865 or previously. In real world, when the devices are out with this processor, the scores definitely is gonna be higher than what was leaked previously. I have seen this like from so many years, mostly that's gonna be the case even with the 888. The scores what you're seeing now are like in pre-production stage and when these devices will come out in the market with fully optimized software and yes a lot of other optimizations this will increase further and the scores might also reach equivalent to the Apple A14 Bionic chip that's gonna be pretty amazing because as of now with this first leak results itself it's so close to the a14 bionic i can say in terms of single core performance yes there is a little bit of gap but in terms of multi-core performance as you can see the gap is very little i can say some hundred points here and there and definitely this will increase once the devices are out with fully optimized software that's for sure so are you guys excited to see snapdragon like i just cannot say snapdragon will beat a14 not really sure about that as of now but let's hope for the best and see and if I say that then in the comment section Apple fanboys will just burst out. So as said this is a discussion video you can discuss in the comment section. Comment your thoughts like what do you think whether Snapdragon will match the performance of A14 or will it beat A14 or nope A14 is gonna remain the king of all the mobile processors even after 888's launch. So do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So this was a quick little video talking about the benchmark results of A14 versus the Snapdragon 888 processor. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram, link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere on the display. This is all about technology 24 into 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.